Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow, wow. Thank you very much. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the show. You know, with any career or field we choose to get into, there's always risks and rewards. Variables such as profit margins, company structure, timing the marketplace, and others will dictate how great our risk is. But what if an entrepreneur wants to make their success in the highly competitive and very public world of entertainment? Well, I can tell you that one big mistake in front of the camera eye can be your last. Today on the show, we're going to talk to somebody who has successfully navigated their way through a music career, television, and even an upcoming film career, entrepreneur, singer-songwriter, and successful actor, Justin Tranchita is on the show. <laughs> Amazing guy. I'm so excited to have him. He's uh, taking the world by storm with the new hit show, Game of Pawns, which is not only national, but it's opening Australia, Japan, it's everywhere. And uh, we're also going to have our dear friend Ian Norris join us for co-host. Ian. Now, I promise you, if you're looking to make it in the music business, TV, or any form of entertainment, that's a tough field. So stick with us. We're going to tell you the secrets of what it takes. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome to the show, everybody. Welcome. I'm here with my dear friend, Ian Norris, co-host. How are you, buddy? Good, Dan. How are you doing? I'm doing great. It's good to see you. You too. It you seems too. like I haven't seen you in a long time. It's probably because you haven't seen me that in a long true. time. <laughs> so as some of you know, we, we had a little bit of a break. We've been building a new studio, so we've been on a little bit of a hiatus, a few mm -hmm. months. And man, I'll tell you what, I, I, I've, for, it's been a long time since I've been in construction uh, thing, but moving sprinklers and unexpecteds and fire marshals. Uh, it's unbelievable. By the way, the fire marshal in this city is amazing. He kind of got us through everything. That's so, um, so you but got yeah. Some, but you got some exciting things. I mean, with the new the new move. Yeah, it's 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 good. Much much uh, better location in terms of uh, putting you in the center of. It is of things. the wharf. We really love it. Last year, I think there was 1.6 million people foot traffic mm -hmm. to come here, and of course, we always have an amazing live audience, right? <laughs> No clap for that. What are we doing? <laughs> but anyways, uh, so we're we're excited to be here, and um, we're 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 almost there. And I have to say, there's been people working around the clock, uh, like Margot and Gary, and I met a guy today named Danny. I don't know if we would have got it done without him and John and Chris. All they all know who they are, but uh, they've been working around the clock just to get everything ready and. I mean, even like an hour and a half ago, they're setting up chairs, and it's just been a real thing. So we're not all the way there. We're still working. It's a work in progress, but, um, but we're excited Well, about I'm it. looking forward to the new season, and I know that uh, this is a good opportunity to uh, mention those people. So yeah. we'll bring in my little point of the week next time, and, yeah. and we'll what pick do you it up have, from there. What's in your world, man? What do you uh, Well, the biggest thing really is that, um, you know, as uh, you know, my wife and I work in real estate. She's a... Yeah. An Valuable. agent with uh, Century 21, and on Saturday yeah. we just had um, an award ceremony, and uh, I'm, we're extremely proud of the team, the Amy Nice team, because not only my wife but also her team of agents uh, won five awards, which included basically top team for Century 21 yeah. in uh, the states of Alabama and Georgia and the uh, Panhandle of yeah. Florida, and then some other customer service awards. So we're very excited about that aspect. Well, and many of the viewers know, uh, frequently we have Amy come on and she gives <laughs> us kind of a segment on real estate, what's happening in the market. And I have to say that anything she basically touches uh, works. So like her favorite donut shop that she donuts, it's probably the number one donut shop. I mean, whatever she's affiliated with, usually she dominates. But I know she's been like number one in uh, this part of Florida, number one in the state of Alabama. I mean, she mm -hmm. just pretty much and rules her and what a of course it's all the team as well. yeah absolutely the whole team plays a very important yeah. role and actually there's a, a, a division or i won't say a subdivision but a complex or a, a, an area just down the road which is um her newest project and that's going to be uh, really exciting it's already getting a lot of interest and a lot of activity so that's a new slightly new um, variation on what she's used to doing but very exciting well i can't wait to see her come back and and uh, be with us on the show it's exciting and speaking of somebody that um, has their hand in everything, mm -hmm. I'm really excited about our guest tonight. This guy, uh, being from Los Angeles, I've been around a lot of people that are looking to break into the music industry or into the film industry. 
And I got to say, it, it's a very tough industry. You know, um, I, I think somebody had told me, a friend of mine's a director, and he said that, you know, several hundred people a day get off the bus in Hollywood with the dream, you know, from Iowa or whatever. And there's just like these people that they're like vultures waiting there. Hey, man, you need headshots. You need this. You need that. And they just exploit these people. And six weeks later, they're on a bus home saying, wow, that was it. I mean, they just, it takes them out. And the, the, the margin of people that, that are able to make it in this field is just very minimal. And our guest tonight, it, it's really impressive. We started actually talking by phone a couple of weeks ago. But this guy's had a, a successful uh, music career. And then he gets picked up and has a national television show that's now going, you know, worldwide, really. Um, he's, he's even made his dog famous. Yeah, his huh? dog is famous. He's got his own Twitter following. And, <laughs> An I mean, agent? he's got a story about a dog I won't relay, but it's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, please help me welcome successful entrepreneur, singer, songwriter, actor, and who knows what else, Justin Tranchita, everybody. Hey! Hey, bro. How are you, man? Good to see you. Thank you. Now, Justin, I'm psyched to have you on, but I have to ask, did you bring this weather with you from the Midwest? Because we have had so many storms. It was sunny before you showed up. What happened? I'm so upset. I got a sailboat here, and I want to get out on it. But, yeah, it's like the cloud of doom follows me from, <laughs> from up, up yonder, you know? You probably thought, like, man, I'm going to come here. I'm going to go to, the, to Florida. I'm going to spend a week on the beaches. I know you brought a few people with you. And then right. you're probably like, what did you bring us to? That's exactly what I thought, yeah. so... Well, I promise you, it's not normally like that. Okay. Uh, we have amazing beaches, and from what I hear, you're going to get some really good weather this week. Yeah, yeah. Uh, first of all, I want to talk about, obviously, I want to talk about Game of Ponds. But before we get into that, tell us a little bit about where you're from and how you got started. Well, I grew up in uh, the country in Illinois, in central Illinois, and uh, I was actually in a Christian music group when I was a kid. We, we tried, my parents, you know, kind of were the typical uh, uh, music parents that put the kids in the in the bus and took Load us around and we did the, the yeah. churches and all that. So I did that and then after that I went to Branson for a little bit and, and sang and uh, uh, and then and then Europe and then uh, and then TV and back to country music. It's been kind of a full weird little deal. yeah full circle deal. So well and uh, you know I, I actually lived uh, temporarily really close and I know that you're actually friends with my older brother. Yeah yeah yeah. Right? And uh, so I've spent a ton of time in that area. But I have to say, I wouldn't think that like a, such a worldwide show would be based out of the Midwest. Right, now. I mean, Game of Ponds, how did this come about uh, landing in Branson, Missouri? Well, you know, Discovery Network was looking for, obviously, a show to compete with uh, our, you know, rival, uh, Pawn Stars. And so they wanted something different. They wanted, you know, that's in Vegas. They wanted to portray more of like a family-friendly yeah. deal. And so they, you know, of all of all places they picked Branson, Missouri, you know, so you can't get more country and homey than that. Yeah. Well, weird. And actually, you know, I remember years ago going to Branson and it was like really twangy country oh, yeah. stuff. And now there's a lot of versatility down there. There's some big acts going right, to Branson. Right, some right. huge things happening. And uh, I know the show is really getting some traction. But um, how's it, I have to ask, how's it been different? I mean, obviously you've had a music career already, a successful music career. Oh. And then all of a sudden, this show is just, boom, it's exploding everywhere. How has it affected, uh, you know, what's it like now, life after Game of Ponds? Well, you know, it's weird because um, I, I was telling one of your techs in the back, you, uh, you start to get discovered. People know who you are, and, yeah. and it's always the weirdest places. Um, I was in a truck stop restroom like a week ago, and I was using the bathroom, you know? <laughs> You're like up the Yeah, room. I'm standing there. What's up, and, uh, <laughs> Not this, a place you want to have a well, this big man is looking at me. He's staring at me. And uh, <laughs> as guys, we all we have this little kind of move we do when we want space in the restroom. It's like a throat clear thing, like a, <clears throat> you know. And so I gave him one of those, like a, <clears throat> you know, give, give me some room there, big guy. So he's staring at me. <laughs> he was. So he's staring at me. So I go to wash my hands, and I get the hands clean, you know. And he's still looking at me. I'm thinking, my God, you know, is this guy going to harm me or what? And he goes, hey, hey mister. You got that dog on that pawn show? And I was like, oh, thank the Lord. And uh, the funniest thing about the story is he wanted a selfie with me. So here's this big, you know, guy, me. I'm like five foot eight, and, you know, with my cowboy boots on. But the funny thing is, in the back of this picture is a guy taking a leak at the urinal. He's got, he's taking the, 
So somewhere on Facebook, you know, this poor guy is, you know, doing his business. But yeah, there there are There's no boundaries. One of those There's no boundaries anymore. You know, people say hello wherever. They don't care. Well, they, then it's awkward because then they want to shake hands and you're like, um, <laughs> can we do this? In a, yeah, what's up, man? Yeah. Well, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, I want to talk a little bit about what's coming up. I know you have a film coming up. You have yeah. an album coming out. So we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere more with Justin in a minute. Stick with us. everybody welcome I'm here with Justin Tranchita and um, I have to say uh, you know again this has really been a game changer for the Midwest I'm sure that it's been good for the industry of Branson as well right having right. such a hit show but um, I want to do a throw out real quick uh, of this clip uh, and then I want to talk to you about something very specific so let's take a look at a clip of Game of Ponds the inside of the shop is very much like never never land we just don't grow up you put your eye out no, but I can't. <laughs> Justin's our comic relief, kind of like a whipping boy. <laughs> what we're going to do now, we're going to play William Tell. <laughs> he missed it. Scotty, you're up. You are pointing this right at my face, you son of a b So, dude, what was happening? There? I don't know. I mean, they were shooting it out. How, how did that transpire? Yeah, basically, I'm the whipping boy of the show. Yeah. I mean, I'm the, yeah, because it gets tedious with the questions. Yeah. You know, they don't just want people falling asleep. So, so like, whenever, get the Nerf gun. Let's just go. shoot somebody. Shoot somebody Bring him anywhere. In here. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter where. Yeah. <laughs> I've been shot on. I've been, you now, saw it. I know that the show is not only nationwide, but it's opening up. Did you, is it Australia now? Oh, it's what? been, you know, and the crazy thing is, like, on, on my Twitter account, which is at the singer Justin, by the way, uh, tweet, at, tweet at me. Um, all these people from all over the world, the Netherlands, the U.K., France, Germany, now now we're going to Asia and uh, Australia. So it's crazy. It's just circled the globe, you know, and it's... It's bizarre. So yeah, to establish true. a fact here, I know a lot of your fans have been wanting more seasons to come back. So right, we, are, right. we can tell them that there is more. Oh, absolutely. We'll be we'll be back in the fall. And I know that there's talk. I'm not sure if we can talk about this, but I know uh -huh. there's like a, a second show in the works. Are oh, we yeah. able to? Absolutely. That briefly? Uh, Adrian Ashley is a producer. It's a 21st uh, Pictures work. It's called The Real Deal. And it's really it's really a neat show. It's kind of like, you know, for, for you guys that watch... Uh, Dancing with the Stars or something like that. We have uh, coaches, so there's six celebrity coaches. Um, a couple of them are like uh, Eric Roberts. Love Eric Roberts. Awesome, awesome actor. Uh, Dustin Diamond. Oh, uh, Screech! <laughs> Screech is on there, you know, so, uh, several others. And so there's teams, there's three actors, and then there's a director, and then they, they guide us through, and then the, at home, the voters take a look at our, our short films oh, right. or scenes and then vote every week. Wow. You know, and uh, and the winner gets money and a contract and all sorts of good oh, stuff. So great. it's really going to be a lot of fun. That starts filming in July, so I'm really pumped about that. Now, I also understand that you're filming a movie uh, coming up this year. Uh, talk briefly about that. Yeah, I'm I'm really excited. It's called Thicker Than Water. It's a western. And, you got the uh, shirt already. Yeah, I got the I got the shirt. <laughs> I see the gun. No, but what happened is it was my first like film where I got a real big role, and I was so excited because I and I studied for this role which was supposed to be George, which was like the good guy, the, you know, the, the hero. Yeah. And so I, you know, I do it. And then my agent calls me. He's like, you got the role. And I'm like, oh, this is great. You know, I'm all excited. Yeah. And he's like, but they really like, they feel like you just come off as a villain. Yeah. And so, so like any, any, that, any, man. they typecast me for an idiot or like a psychopath. That's yeah. what, you know what I'm doing right now. But yeah, I play the, I'm the bad guy. So I'm, I'm the, I'm the killer in the, in the movie, so thicker than water. Very well, cool. it sounds like you have your hands full, man, and it's it's great to hear somebody, uh, a young entrepreneur that's got so many things working out, and um, I know that just one f field uh, of what you're in, whether it be music, movies, television, mm -hmm. just having success in one would be difficult, but mm -hmm. having success in all three, it's absolutely amazing. Now, I know that you have a, a new single out. <laughs> well, it's ridiculous. tell us real quick, where, where can we... Uh, when can we expect to see the album come out, and where can we get more information if people want to yeah, follow Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, so the album will drop at the end of September, and the best way to get a hold of me is Twitter. 
at yep. the singer Justin dot, dot com, um, or excuse me, Twitter at the singer Justin, and uh, reverbnation.com slash the singer Justin. Those are the best best okay. links there. Well, listen, when the album comes out, please come back. Absolutely, and, man. And uh, perform on the show. We'd be glad to have you. Uh, Justin Tranchita, everybody. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks. back now. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Stick with us. We'll be right back with entrepreneur Teresa Rim Hamilton, everybody. Stick with us. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome back. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. And I want to say that if you want to follow us on Twitter, go to at Dan Vega host. Also, if you want to be a part of our live audience, go to thedanvegashow.com. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Teresa Rim Hamilton. How are you? Good to see you. Good. You too. Now, Teresa, I have to say, I'm, I'm really jazzed about you being on the show. And before we get into this, let me just set it up a little bit. I was For years, I was doing these seminars uh, nationwide. They were basically like health and wealth seminar. So we'd have three financial people, we'd have different doctors that were either traditional or alternative medicine. And the first few times I heard it, okay, but then every seminar, someone would come to me and say, six months to live, that was 18 years ago, over and over and over. So I started doing the research myself and saying, and really, as far as I can tell, you know, if you elevate, your, everybody has a pH, and if you elevate it slightly above 7.2, that it's really rare that any disease can tr uh, can grow. Is that fairly accurate? That's correct. So talk a little bit about it. Uh, first of all, what is the water called? It's Kangen water. Kangen water. That okay. means return to origin in Japanese. Return to origin in Japanese. I had no idea. And how did you get involved with something like this? Because I know you're a successful entrepreneur, but how did you get into this? Well, I saw a demonstration very similar to this at the <coughs> Azalea Trail Run in Mobile. I was okay. running the race with my family, and we saw this demonstration, and the science behind it really intrigued me yeah. because I'm a scientist, so I started researching it. And like you, I found countless articles to support you know, the benefits. Yeah. Uh, let me ask you a question. If people want more information, how can we get it? Uh, you could go to the website. It's yep. uh, www.bestwaterexplained.com. Best and that is explained? ED, explained. I got gotcha. you. Best water explained. Well, there you have it. Thank you so much for coming on. Please come back, would you? I will. There you I, go, everybody. You Entrepreneur Teresa Rim Hamilton. Thank you. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back with a special performance you won't want to miss. Stick with us. Welcome back. Welcome, everybody. Please welcome Andy Stemke, Doc Matthews, Justin Tranchita performing This Is America.
as another crisis steals the show. Yeah, look at just how far we've come today. Sending weapons to the enemy and taking mine away. But this is America. This is the land of the free. This is the country I Doc Matthews and Justin Tranchita. Amazing performance. And listen, check out Game of Pawns. Also, I want to thank entrepreneur Teresa Rim Hamilton. My special thanks to our co host Ian Norris. Don't forget to get involved in your local community and be forgiving of others. Good night, everybody. Good job. Hi, I'm Dan Vega, and thank you for watching our channel. I want to take a second to tell you about a resource that's helping thousands of people across the country, Blue University. Blue University is the premier online business school for entrepreneurs and business leaders. You know, if you find yourself in a day-to-day -day grind where you've lost your joy, or you're just tired of struggling, then check out blue.university. That's B-L-U dot university. I can promise that you receive nothing short of a multi-million dollar education. And if you want a completely different life in three to six months and a way to create wealth in five years or less, then again, check it out. That's blu.university. Find out why blue is the new color of success. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel or to give us a good rating, but that's only if you see value. And when you do receive value, make sure to share it with someone else. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.